Okay, Chris, congratulations. Big win here in Milan. What a way to open the main card and you remain unbeaten. You look unstoppable. How do you feel? I feel amazing, man. That was a fantastic fucking fight. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't swore, but never mind. Uh, yeah, I felt on fire. It took me a wee bit to get into it because I hadn't fought since February, but you know, uh, I'm sure the fans loved it. So yeah, happy to get the win and 7 and 0. Not only the win, you got the finish. You seem to really pick your moment. Uh, just talk us through that. Yeah, man, I'm a finisher at heart. You know, uh, I've gone through my full life being 100% and doing everything at 100%. So in that whole fight, I was not wanting to go to the decision. It wasn't running through my mind at the time, obviously, but um, finish, finish, finish. Get it done. Home, pizza, food, you name it. <laughs> and uh, just this week, in fact, I think it might have been just yesterday, you got bumped up to the main card. Um, did that add any pressure or was that the opportunity to go live, you're on TV, show the world what you're all about? Nah, it's just an opportunity for myself. Uh, I'll be the real main event. That's uh, that's my my step up main card. You know, I just took it in full swing. I've said to you before, when I'm under that spotlight, man, I perform and uh, I'm looking forward to the shows to come. And then um, just, just one, one, one more from in the room. Um, just at the end there, there was a lot of respect for you and your opponent. You went straight over, you know, arms around him. You, you could see you respected each other. Um, had you, you know, studied his game? Do you rate him as a fighter? 100%, yeah. The guy had a good uh, good striker. Um, I was wanting to try and shoot him there. I wasn't going to shoot him, you know. I pushed him up against the wall. Uh, part of the game plan uh, in MMA, you know, like good strikers tend to gas their arms out when they start to wrestle. So I like to put a little bit of wrestling on folk, just lean on them a little bit and push them forth, you know. It's not rocket science. Uh, but yeah, I have a lot of respect for that guy. Look, he's, he's giving me a black eye. Uh, only my girlfriend gives me black eyes. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, um, much respect for Furtado. Um, he's a true opponent and he's tough as nails. Jake Smith. Yeah, Jake Smith from Fighting Talk. Hi, Chris. Congratulations on the win. Thank you, man. Thank you. What does it mean to you, for you? I mean, what is Shepard from Scotland now to a yeah. main event in Milan on Bellator, one of the biggest promotions in the world? Just what does that mean to you to have that? This is home, man. This is home. That's all I need to say. This is home. Um, through lockdown as well, we've had a lot of fighters on recently talking about how they've been coping during lockdown. And I watched that beautifully put together documentary that John Sloan done with you. And you spoke about the neuro uh, neurological linguistic programming that you do. That's the one. Can you tell people a little bit, a little bit about that? And has that helped you through lockdown? Yeah, man. Uh, uh, it's all about how you perceive yourself, you know. I'm scared of every single opponent that I face, you know, all the way into the, the, the fight. I'm scared. I thought I'd maybe get beat by this guy, you know. Um, and it's how you change that and how you perceive yourself as a person. You need to put faith into your training and stuff like that. Like, in, in, a, in a smaller form, in a, in a smaller sense, you know, you set your alarm at night time. There might be an element you might say, oh, I might sleep through my alarm. But it doesn't really bother you because it doesn't mean as much. But this means a lot. So if I lost this fight, it would mean so much to me. I would, I would feel terrible. So... Putting a perspective on that, meaning you know, I maybe could lose, but let's do another couple of things that could maybe stop that. Train hard, you know, get up early, do all the do all the things that you need to do to win, and um, have a positive mindset because you, you'll know yourself. You know, maybe in work, you know, in your friends, you always have somebody that's slightly negative, and they always drag the the group down or they pull you down with them. And negative energy is a thing. You know, you can pass that on to people. And a shout out to Fight Mind guy. Um, He's the guy that helps me out with my NLP. That's Kenny Ramage. Big shout out to him. Thank you very much. In that documentary as well, Chris, you also say fans never remember the guy who triangles someone. They always remember someone who knocks somebody out stiff. It wasn't quite a stiff knockout tonight, but it was certainly an unbelievable performance. How important was that for you to deliver? I, mean, such a... stiff <laughs> <laughs> I, I can guarantee you wouldn't have got him up straight away. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm always going for that finish, man. Everybody remembers the guys that got the heavy hands and the heavy kicks. So, yeah, that's where the way it's going to go. Finally, from me, Chris, have you managed to have that phone call yet to your grandparents? I'm going to phone them as soon as I get out of here, man. You're holding me up. <laughs> <laughs> thanks very much, Chris, and thanks again. Thank Congratulations you, again. Thank you. Jay? Hey, thanks very much. And uh, congratulations on the win, Chris. Uh, just very quickly, they cut the commercial here in North America on the broadcast. Uh, but was that a call out of Keith or Crosby? It sure was, buddy. <laughs> now, that, that's, a fight that's, <laughs> that's a fight that would seem to make a lot of sense based on where you are in your careers. But uh, is there a specific reason why you called them out? 
Um, I just think he's good at porn. He's my next stepping stone. So I don't not like the guy. You know, it's not like he's done anything wrong to me. Um, I just like to fight that guy. He's got a lot of uh, lot of uh, talent, a lot of um, skills from a great gym. Uh, he talks a lot. He'll put me up there, you know. I do my talking in the cage, and he does his talking outside the cage. So let's uh, mingle together a wee bit. Maybe meet him in Dublin or what about Glasgow? I think Glasgow would be a good show. Love it, love it. And he fights in a couple of days as well, so the timing works. Um, this is your second win in 2020. I mean, I know it's tough because cards are limited right now with the pandemic, but do you have a time frame in mind for when you'd like to be back? Uh, let's see how my, my hands and feet are. Um, I think I could get in as soon as possible. You know, I'd quite like to be. Um, if some, maybe somebody pulls out in Paris or something like that, see how my body feels. And see how I feel mentally. You know, sometimes this can be, be not only physically demanding, but also mentally demanding on your body as well, you know. I have a girlfriend at home that I miss uh, when I go away, so it's good to spend some time with her because uh, it's all about me in the fight camp and she doesn't get enough attention and uh, it's her time now. Absolutely. Well, enjoy the uh, the time and uh, congratulations again on the win. Thank you for having me. Cheers. All right, Chris. Thank you.